Hi everybody, this is Richard from RKA. This is the new Schubert C4. And uh, what a beautiful, beautiful helmet. We personally own four C3 Pros and two S2s. And uh, this is a pretty nice helmet. So I'm gonna try it on. And I'm gonna tell you, it's the most comfortable helmet I have tried on, and I've tried on a lot of helmets in the last 50 years. So, it's got the slider screen right here on the bottom, and of course it works flawlessly, just like usual. And then there's pods on the sides here that the battery and the communication system slides into, and that's what we're gonna be doing a video on. So, if you wanna get a high quality helmet, it's about the safest helmet and the quietest helmet around. The Schubert C4 is probably the way to go. So this is the bottom side of the new Schubert C4. And we're going to show you how to put it together and connect it to your uh, BMW. But I have a couple of uh, issues uh, right off the bat, and that was how to get in the box. I, I, I couldn't, couldn't figure it out. It was like crazy. But there's like a little magnet or something holding it. And there you go. Well, as easy as that. So that's how you do that. Now you got four things inside the box. You got the unit. You got the unit puller. And you got the battery. So my next issue was I wasn't sure how to get these things off, and it's pretty obvious, but I'm a little slow sometimes, so to get them off, you just pull that little tab back, and they pop off. So the battery goes in a certain way. Pop it down, and on this side, the cover goes back on. Like that. On this side, the unit goes in. And just to let you know, here's the little tabs at the slider when you're going to take it out. So here's your remover and when it's in there you're going to slide it down in there and it's going to click over those tabs right there so like that so that goes in like that and the cover doesn't go back on this side okay so to turn the unit off and on you hold the plus and minus button down. Hello. And that starts it up. To turn the unit off, you hold the plus and minus button down for three seconds. Goodbye. And that turns it off. Your volume control is plus for up, minus for down. We're going to connect it to the BMW module right now. So the first thing we're going to do is hold the plus button down for about 10 seconds until we get into the configuration menu. Configuration menu. Now we're going to tap the plus button until we hear phone pairing. Phone pairing. Now we'll turn on the module. Your headset is paired. So now we're going to go ahead and hook up to the uh, NAV 6 or NAV 5. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go into the configuration menu by holding the plus button down for 10 seconds. Con 
configuration menu. Now we're going to find second mobile phone pairing. Phone pairing. Second mobile phone pairing. And now we're going to turn on the uh, Nav 6. Your headset is paired. Please drive to highlighted route. So now, after you connect your phone to your Navigator 6, you are totally set up unless you're running a radar detector or a CB radio. And in that case, we're going to hook up the SR-10. So we're going to go through the same drill again, go into the configuration menu, holding the plus button down for 10 seconds. Configuration menu. Now we're going to look for phone selective pairing. Phone pairing. Second mobile phone pairing. Phone selective pairing. Your headset is paired. And now we have the radar detector set up. We highly recommend the Senna RC4 remote control. So we're going to go ahead and connect up to this. I'm going to hold the plus button down until we see it go into pairing mode. And there it is. And again, we go into configuration menu. Configuration menu. Remote control pairing. Configuration exit. Remote control pairing. Remote control connected. Phone connected. So now we have the remote control. And it's controlling the headset now. We're going to show you how the tool works here. And you just want to make sure that the curved side is facing in because that's what's going to grab the unit. So you just slide it down and you'll feel it click in. And there you go.